Hi and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. So in this video we're going to be taking a look at Digital Radio Mondial or otherwise known as DRM. Now DRM is an openly standardized digital broadcasting system for all broadcast frequencies. But in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to decode and listen to shortwave DRM transmissions. So in order to receive and then decode the DRM transmissions, we're going to need some hardware and software. For this video, I'm using an SDR Play RSP Duo SDR receiver and SDR Uno as the receiving hardware and software. The RSP Duo is connected to a length of wire around 15 meters long, which acts as our antenna. A middleware piece of software called VB Audio is used. The audio output from SDR Uno can be piped into our decoding software. If you've seen my other videos, then you will be familiar with VB Audio and what it does. The last piece of software that we need is the decoder, which in this video, I'm using a free application called Dream. I will leave a link down in the description of where you can download this. Please note that you will also need to install an AAC decoder to work with the Dream software, but I will also leave a link in the description of where you can download a Windows compile version too. So looking at the screen, we can see that I'm tuned to a shortwave frequency, which is a DRM transmission. DRM transmissions are normally around 10 kHz in bandwidth and are easy to see on the waterfall display. This is an example of how it sounds when listening to it raw. The mode selected on SDR Uno is digital and I preset the bandwidth to 10 kHz. Now if you're using software such as SDR Sharp, then you can go ahead and choose USB upper sideband and then adjust the bandwidth so it covers the whole transmission as shown on the waterfall. So with the SDR software tuned to a DRM signal and the audio being pumped into VB audio cable, we can now go ahead and start our decoding software, which as mentioned before, I'm using Dream. When you launch Dream, you will need to set the audio in and out before it will start decoding. Simply click on the settings and change the audio in to VB audio cable and your audio out to your PC speakers. If you select view and then system evaluation, a new dialog will appear as shown on the right of the screen here, which shows us vital information about the success of the DRM decoding. And the main screen on the left here will show details about the station that's been decoded. And as it's a digital broadcast, the stations can encode text and even other audio streams, meaning each transmission could potentially have two audio streams on the same broadcast. The system evaluation dialog has six indicators on the top middle of the dialog. When these are all green, the software will be successfully decoding the DRM transmission and you should be hearing audio coming through your speakers. Now, if any of those indicators are yellow or red, then it's possible the transmission is either too weak or you have not selected the whole bandwidth of the transmission on your SDR software. So let's go ahead and have a little listen to what it sounds like after it's been decoded travail et trouver de l'argent à l'étranger, en France, en Croatie et même jusqu'en Iran et au Qatar, mis en avant à l'époque socialiste, reconnu dans les années 1980-90 grâce à Emir. As you can probably tell from that broadcast, it's a French station RFI, and unfortunately I don't speak French, so I have no idea what he's saying, so we're going to keep that short just in case it was something rude. So let's go ahead and have a little listen to another station on a different frequency. Assieme ai suoi colleghi comunitari alla riunione informale di Vienna organizzata sotto l'egida della presidenza austriaca del Consiglio dell'Unione Europea, per l'occasione il ministro FIFOR ha evidenziato l'interesse della Romania per l'inclusione dei Balcani occidentali tra i temi prioritari della presidenza romena del Consiglio dell'Unione durante la prima metà dell'anno prossimo. Now to give you a couple of pointers with regards to setting up the Dream software. There's not much really you can do to change the settings uh, apart from on the system evaluation screen you have something there called number of iterations. I put mine up to four and you've also got interferer rejection, uh, a band pass filter. I make sure that mine's ticked and that should help with decoding the DRM transmission, especially if you've selected more than 10 kilohertz uh, on your SDR software. 
Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did enjoy making it. Uh, it took me quite a while to be able to make this video purely for the fact is the HF conditions recently have been extremely dire. So capturing a DRM transmission that was strong enough to decode has taken some time. Anyway guys, if you like the video, please subscribe, hit the like button and until the next video, take care and we'll see you in the next one.